Hey everyone, and the hits just keep coming. This is, I don't know, I've done, done probably at least half a dozen videos pertaining to the legalization of cannabis in Canada. You know, the liberal governments and their promise how they're going to legalize marijuana in Canada. But I mean, if you look in my past videos, so whether it's, you know, workplace drug testing or now the big giant push for impaired driving under, you know, influence of drug testing that they're now going to try to ramp up, which is just as arbitrary and will actually affect even more people than what was used um, for dictating or, or determine a person's level of impairedness in regards to driving under the influence of alcohol. With drugs, alcohol at least, you know, the, the its presence in your body, it, it leaves your body in a lot shorter time frame, 12 to 24 hours at most, most of the time, right? Whereas marijuana could be in your system, you smoke marijuana on the weekend it could stay in your system for the entire week so right now there was no mandate for other than like long-haul trucking companies in a very very few small corners of the sec uh, certain sectors in the economy but most Canadians were not you know there was no such thing as mandatory drug testing for to seek gainful employment that'll be coming to you and then with the drinking or the smoking and driving type of thing well, now that's going to affect you too. So, you know, if you tr drive a car or anything, or, you know, maybe you're um, commuting to your job. Well, once again, now you're going to have two situations just in getting behind your wheel and even going to your workplace. Now you're going to have two situations that before no one was really out there looking to penalize or criminalize people because there was no mandate. That's coming up. And then we're seeing constantly now the, the marijuana, the dispensaries. They were mostly, they mostly flew under the radar and were kind of left alone for the most part. But now that the push for legalization is happening, well, they've been ramping up and trying to shut down these uh, small mom and pop stores or small to medium businesses, right? The people that have been growing, selling and cultivating marijuana since I've even been alive. And out in Vancouver, it's been that way for, I believe, decade plus. So this legalization file is actually... It's been shown, and there's more. I'm j I just uh, can't think. Those are just the three main things that I'm take taking off the top of my head. But like I say, look through my past videos, and you'll see the other aspects of it that's it's going to be detrimental for people. It's taxation, once again, so the costs are going to be more. Um, they might not start out that way at first, but eventually in time, look at anything the government has ever taken over and monopolized that industry. Well, you get crappier service, crappier products, right? It gets more expensive, more bureaucratic. I mean, like I say, this Canadians are going to see actually more of their freedoms removed than actually given under the pretense of legalization. And what now, as if you thought that was enough, as if you thought, okay, surely that's enough. They're, they've actually destroyed anyone's hope for actual a little bit of freedom. Because now people are starting to realize and recognize what I was talking about all along is this is actually just more, more, more menacing, more bureaucratic. And more is going to cause more pain, suffering, and hardships for people in as a general statement, right? But this is out of CBC News Politics. No plan for pot conviction amnesty amid legalization move, liberals say. So, so even right now, if you were convicted for smoking, growing, you know, or selling a plant totally voluntarily where there was no victims involved, and you're now sitting behind bars or have a criminal record and all those negative consequences and effects that, that, that result of a criminal conviction. Well, now they're saying even once it becomes legalized, oh, well, too bad. <laughs> you're still going to have to sit in jail. You're still going to have a criminal record. So you're not even going to, you're going to make it legal, but you're still going to criminalize and punish people that were, like I say, these central planners, it was never about freedom, Fox sakes, Canada. It was never about giving you any freedom. It was always about taking control over the industry. And it also helps them and benefit when you take over the industry to fill up their coffers, to enrich them, right? Politicians don't have your best interest at heart. These are people that go into positions that, that, that pretend that they have authority over you to dictate and control your life and to plunder your wealth. Add in for, at any time they wish, just by writing on a piece of paper or legislation that, oh, I can do this, right? These are not the kind of people you got to, people, I don't understand. Well, because, 
you know, the people that benefit from central plan governments, they talk it up governments as if it's a great benevolent, almost akin to God and its benevolency. But I'll tell you, I've never met, well, all politicians lie. That's, that's 100% provable, factual. And they're all obviously control freaks. And many of them, because they lack empathy for the fellow man, obviously are sociopaths. So, yeah, not a good idea to put these motherfuckers in control of the marijuana industry under the pretense of legalization. The federal plan to legalize recreational marijuana does not include the general amnesty for past pot convictions some would like to see, says Public Safety, Safety Minister Ralph Goodell. I mean, look at this gray-haired, this old fuck. I mean, this is a fuck, like I say, this fucking one of those people that, yeah, he's got that very authoritarian mindset, and yeah, it's not about just, and Bill Blair, who was the guy they put in charge of the whole file predominantly? Bill fucking Blair? The police chief, right? The guy that put more fucking people behind bars for doing pot, smoking pot, or growing, or selling pot. Like I say, it's about control, not freedom, folks. Newly tabled legislation would allow people 18 and older to publicly possess up to 30 grams of dried cannabis or its equivalent in non-dried form. But the Trudeau government is not considering a blanket pardon for people with criminal records for possessing small amounts of the drug, Goodell said in an interview. That's not an item that's on the agenda at the moment. Yeah, and I'll continue on a little bit further. The government has also made it clear that the move to legalization by mid-2018 doesn't mean tax or lax law enforcement during the transition period. So even though they know they're going to give you <laughs> the pretense of freedom, not until, not right up to the day, they're going to fuck you up regardless. But it's like, what? Tell me where that makes sense, unless you're a fucking authoritarian piece of shit, which is what these people are. Like, <laughs> I tell you, they were they were smart to put Trudeau in charge because they knew all they had to do is put that shiny boy on there and a little bit younger, and even though he's just as authoritarian as Harper, probably worse than fucking Harper was, and I mean, Harper was an authoritarian piece of shit too, but Trudeau's probably even worse, but because he, he didn't look the type, right? He wasn't that old, gray-haired man. Yeah, huh? like I say, snake oil salesmen, they know who to put, in for, put out in front of you, right, to present to you. They knew, they knew exactly what they were doing, and you fell for it. Hook, line, sinker. sinker. Sad. It is important to note that as the bill moves through the legislation process, existing laws prohibiting pose possession and use of cannabis remains in place, and, need, and they need to be respected, good old told a news conference last night. Thursday. This must be an orderly transition. It is not a free for all. Of course not, because they got to they're going to squeeze out all the competition so that the crony corporatists, these these um, corporate grow-ups that were lobbying the government, they want to squeeze out all the competition so they can literally take over and dominate the entire marijuana industry. It's and they've admitted as such and they don't and they're even literally telling you they don't give a fuck about your freedoms or your past hardships or your criminal convictions or the fact that you're in jail as a result of something that's going to be completely supposedly legal in a very short time frame. Shame, shame. Pay attention, Canada. You gotta get much wiser than this. It's Canadian Libertarian and I love liberty.